it just kills me that people keep falling into these talking points about race and they don't talk about fatherless homes, they don't talk about the open border, they don't talk about our trillions of dollars in debt. We need a convention of states, folks. We got to have one. We got to have an Article 5 convention of states. If we don't get one, none of this is going to get fixed. You think that Congress is ever going to vote to cut off their gravy train with uh, uh, having uh, term limits? No. You think they're going to do anything like that? They may try to get rid of the fifth, uh, the Article 5, so you can't have a convention of states. That's what I. That's what I think. But we need to get rid of also uh, Amendment, the Seventeenth Amendment. Why? Because the states need to choose their representatives in the Senate like they were originally done. Will, Woodrow Wilson helped usher in the, the change that and get the 17th Amendment where it became like a popular vote. So that's why you got somebody that gets in supposedly for your state in the Senate and they're backed by George Soros or somebody with a bunch of money. And, you know, if it's not him, it's some other big conglomerate or BlackRock or somebody else giving them money to get in there and all the time they're oh I'm, I'm representing Missouri or Tennessee or whoever right uh, yeah once they get in there who do you think put them there how much money did they give them are they going to keep giving it to them if they don't do exactly what they want no they're not so that's why we need to get rid of the 17th amendment so whoever you vote into your state representatives they can appoint whoever so if you have a republican led uh, state legislature, then you're going to have some more Republican leaning, leaning uh, senators appointed and sa- vice versa. So you, your state level elections become a lot more important. And we also need to get rid of the 16th Amendment. We need to get rid of the income tax, in my opinion. We need a flat tax. I'm a CPA. I've been in taxes. I got involved in, in and became a CPA because I got mad about being taxed one year. I got a 1099 and owed a bunch of taxes. I thought, I'm going to learn how to do this. And then and I intended to go a different way. And I intended to be a tax attorney and all this other stuff. But I, it never did happen. It, it wasn't the same as playing music was, you know. It was a lot different uh, atmosphere to get into. Anyway, but I still have, I'm passionate about, I still do taxes and different things and accounting, of course. But the thing is, with the 16th Amendment and the, the tax code, we spend so much time. We spend so many hours in compliance every year. And a lot of my CPAs are saying, well, what are you going to do for a job? And, and believe me, that I would implement a flat tax where it's, the taxes are collected on sales of new products. It's a lot, a lot like the fair tax, and that's what got me going on that. If you read the fair tax book, uh, there's two of them. Uh, I think it was created by John Linder and Neil Bortz back in like 2000. And they, I think they put up an update. The only thing I didn't like about it, they wanted to give money, uh, government money via like cards or checks to people so they could cover their, especially if their poverty level, to help cover their expenses, for like living expenses and that type of thing, the taxes on those, that would help offset those when they buy them. I say you don't tax anything like rent and you don't tax things like gas and you don't ta- tax things like, you know, things that you need to live with, you know, your utilities and, and your food. You just don't tax those. You just tax other items at a higher rate. So... And you don't have all the built-in, you don't have, you just have to read about the fair tax. Everything else about it, I think, is good. You don't have all these built-in taxes. You don't have a payroll tax into your products anymore. See, all these, everything that you add taxes on makes your product cost more. So something that you buy normally and it costs you $25, it may not cost you, but I don't know, $15 $15 now because you're not going to have those embedded taxes. You're not going to have the tax on the shipping and the tax on uh, the overhead for the company to make that product and the gasoline and everything and all the tax on the the other implement, the other uh, components of something that you're making out of plastic or whatever. 
So now it's going to cost 15, but you're going to be taxed probably about 25% instead of 15 or 10 or whatever, but you're going to get taxed on it once. That's it. And then, you know, after it's bought and if somebody else wants to sell it, then there's not going to be any taxes on it. So, and people go, well, the rich people are going to get off on that. No, 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 no. If they buy a yacht, it's going to be 25%. If you buy a house, it's going to be 25%. But you don't pay any more. You won't pay a property tax every year. You don't pay all these other taxes. Everybody gets their, you, they'll figure out, everybody needs to get together, all the county and locals and everything. I guess they could probably tack another, tack another one on at a county level or something, but maybe, I, I, you know, that's something else you can get into. I guess at a local level, you could still have some type of a, I don't know, a county tax, but I would hope that you could get rid of all of it and just have that one tax and it helps fund everything in government because we need a smaller government anyway, right? And when you look at all the different ways that the taxes are spent that first of all it's going to cut back on all the money that's spent in compliance you know all the hiring of uh, uh yeah, i know turbo tax and them aren't gonna like it <laughs> and but you have to get rid of the 16th amendment otherwise if you did a flat tax and you still had the 16th amendment hanging out there the yahoos in washington if we don't do an article 5 convention of states They'll come back around and go, oh, well, now we need to implement the income tax again. So now then you got two big taxes going on, and you don't want that because if they can do that and, again, send some money somewhere else to Ukraine or whatever and get some mo more money in their coffers, they're all at the trough. And they can talk a big game and say, oh, they're all about you, all they want to, and I'm just sorry. I mean, I think there might be a few of them that are, are good people out there. I could name a, a handful that's about it the rest of them i just don't know they just uh, not sure what they're doing in washington except filling their, their every one of them is getting rich i mean i i don't know very many of them that aren't unless they're in and if they're getting rich a little bit just a little then they're not, i guess they're not a smart criminal you know <laughs> they're not too corrupt or something but Anyway, like I said, that's my rant for today. Now, that's my rant for today. So have a good one.